Richard again here, this time in Mardley Heath, um, off Heath Road. And again, you can see the similar sort of environment where you've got bracken and gorse. And um, because you've got bracken and gorse, this is a sandy area, obviously a spoil from these were old gravel and sand pits. But what I want to talk to you about today, um, and the theme for the day, is of all things, Hertfordshire has a lot of them and they're called swallow holes. Now, swallow hole is created where you have different layers of rock and sediment on top of each other. And the top layer is a thin layer of clay and underneath that, it's limestone or chalk. Now, clay will keep water and bung water up. As we all know, it. it's got flat plates and it keeps the water in place. However, chalk dissolves with the acid in the rain and also the cracks and fissures. And that's why we get a lime, limestone landscape. Um, Westmoreland stone is a prime example, which is etched quite heavily. Now, if you get a little hole and in the clay, you get water puddling, the clay eventually gets soft. The erosion of the stream or whatever will cut through into the, into the chalk underneath and then the water disappears. That's called a swallow hole. Now, Hertfordshire have a lot of these because the, the geography, the geology in particular, is prone to it. So what we've got here is, and around the back you can probably hear, there's the A1M. And probably those who lived in this area will remember last year it was closed because the motorway collapsed. Now the reason why the motorway collapsed is because of mismanagement of the environment. And I'll explain to you what I mean. 